What's up guys, my name is Brandon and welcome back to the 54th Jailbreak Update episode and we have some awesome news to talk about today. In this episode, we're gonna be talking all about the iOS 11.3.1 jailbreak and how we are finally about to get an exploit we've been waiting on for a while. Before we get started, make sure you go back and watch episode 53 before watching this episode. Also make sure you are subscribed with notifications turned on so you do not miss any future episodes. All right, so let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, so as I said, we are about to get the iOS 11.3.1 exploit publicly released by none other than Ian Beer from Google's Project Zero. He tweeted this out yesterday. If you're interested in bootstrapping iOS kernel security research, keep a research only device on iOS 11.3.1 for more TFP zero. Release probably next week. Oh, and the 11.1.2 KDP compatible kernel debugger really is coming soon. So that is amazing news that Ian Beer will be releasing his iOS 11.3.1 exploit because that means that a jailbreak should be coming soon after. And this does also mean that Electra can be updated for 11.3.1 now. And speaking of Electra, Coolstar, the creator of Electra, tweeted this out shortly after that tweet from Ian Beer. Save 11.3.1 blobs, but stay on 11.1.2 if your already jailbroken device compatibility and jailbreak functionality on 11.3.1 are unknown at the moment, so not recommended to upgrade yet. He followed up with, Electra might be updated to support 11.3.1 soon. However, there is a non-zero chance of it only supporting devices up to A9 due to requiring a KPP bypass. And then he finally added, I have no real interest in devices newer than the iPhone 6S, so if we have to patch something protected by KPP, I would likely just use the KPP bypass and not bother with iPhone 7 or newer. So yes, it looks like Coolstar and his team are planning to update Electra to work on 11.3.1, but it does not appear, it's actually not very clear as of right now, if it's going to work on devices newer than the iPhone 6S or not. In this tweet, he did not say for sure that it's not going to work on 6S and above. It's really just going to take testing before we know for sure. But once again, if you are on iOS 11.1.2 and if you're jailbroken right now with Electra, definitely stay put, but also do save blobs for iOS 11.3.1. If you don't know how to save blobs, I did make a video tutorial on how to do that. You can find that in the cards right now and also down in the description below. You definitely want to make sure you have those blobs. Even if you are on 11.3.1 right now, definitely go ahead and save those blobs immediately. Now, for those of you that still are waiting on the Meridian jailbreak, I would continue to stay there, but also do save the blobs for iOS 11.3.1. That is, of course, unless you are tired of iOS 10 and you just want to move up to iOS 11. That Meridian jailbreak is still in the works, and here's what Sparky had to say yesterday after all this news broke. For anyone thinking about updating to iOS 11.3.1 from 10.x but can't decide, remember Remember this, 10.x has the possibility for an untether, the rest is up to you. So what he's saying is that there is the possibility for a fully untethered jailbreak on iOS 10 with the Meridian jailbreak. So if you want that, definitely stay put. Even if you just want a jailbreak in general, I would stay put and just save the 11.3 blobs. But once again, that is only if you're fine with being on an old version of iOS like iOS 10 versus something newer like iOS 11. There are going to be tweaks in City that require iOS 11, so that's really just a decision you're going to have to make on your own. Now if you're on iOS 11.2, 11.2.5, 11.2.6, any version of 11.2, I would go ahead and update to 11.3.1. And of course, if you are on iOS 11.3, definitely go ahead and update to 11.3.1. The exploit's going to work on both. You may as well just be on the latest version, which is 11.3.1. Now, of course, you guys know that it is usually advised to stay on the lowest version possible of iOS if you're looking at jailbreak, but I feel like this time, you don't really need to take that advice. Ian Beer and Coolstar are trusted enough that I would update to 11.3.1 without much of a second thought. Again, only if I said to earlier in the video. If you're currently jailbroken, stay they put. And if you're still questioning whether or not you should update, this tweet from Morpheus is pretty useful and you may actually need to pause the video to read and understand it. Now with all that being said, there are always exceptions. So if you have any questions at all about your current situation, if you should update or not, definitely leave a comment down below and I will get back to you as soon as possible in the comment section. And you guys know you can always reach out to me over on Twitter as well. That link is down in the description below. Now another thing to keep in mind is that iOS 11.3.1 is not going to stay signed forever. It's not going to be very long before it stops being signed. iOS 11.4 was released yesterday, so that means that iOS 11.3.1 3.1 could potentially stop being signed next week, according to my chart you see on the screen right now. Of course, 11.3.1 could be signed longer than that, but we really just never know with Apple and it's better safe than sorry. So if you need to make a decision, make it this weekend at the latest. And I will also let you know when it stops being signed over on Twitter. So make sure you are following me over there. But anyways, guys, that is the latest on the iOS 11.3.1 jailbreak. Very, very good news. And I will definitely be making follow-up videos as this progresses. And hopefully we do have a fully working iOS 11.3 jailbreak within the next few months. So yeah, guys, keep Keep it locked to the channel and Twitter. I will be keeping you guys updated as always. And if you enjoyed this video and you're hyped for the iOS 11.3.1 jailbreak, definitely give this video a thumbs up. Also leave a comment down below with how excited you are. Also make sure you have those notifications turned on for the channel so you don't miss any important videos. But anyways guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.